Today, we will be exploring the largest neighborhood in Brooklyn, Bedford-Stuyvesant, a place of dazzling architecture, abundant neighborhood pride, and a growing cultural scene. With a rich history from being the center of the civil rights movement in the 1960s, it raised a generation of legendary artists in the music scene, like Lenny Kravitz, Mos Def, and celebrities like Mike Tyson and Jackie Robinson. Surprisingly, that is just some of the many well-known names that grew up in bed -Stuy. Since the Great Depression, immigrants from South America and the Caribbean settled in bed -Stuy, making it the second largest black community in New York. Soon after, the A train was built, connecting bed -Stuy with Harlem, quickly making the Brooklyn neighborhood an offshoot of Manhattan's prominent black community, earning it the name Little Harlem. In the 80s, crime surged in New York City, with bed struck particularly hard. However, from this era emerged bed -Stuy's rallying cry, do or die bed -Stuy, with the mantra being interpreted to mean make a move or die, or more loosely, go big or go home. Even today, traces of this phrase can be found in murals throughout the neighborhood, or even in the name of bed -Stuy's local dive bar, do or dive. Although the 80s were a difficult time for bed -Stuy, this period inspired some of its greatest artists like Jay-Z, Biggie Smalls, and Lil' Kim, rapping about their struggles in bed -Stuy, as well as inspiring Spike Lee's film, Do the Right Thing. One of the most iconic murals in bed -Stuy is the King of New York mural on the corner of Bedford and Quincy Avenue. Here you can find a whopping 38 foot tall mural of Biggie Smalls. And if you're a fan, other Biggie Smalls landmarks throughout the neighborhood exist like his childhood home, which is closer to Clinton Hill. This is one of many murals in bed -Stuy and is an example of the street art found all throughout the neighborhood. I felt it was necessary to provide some background of the cultural history in bed -Stuy, since it's still very present in the neighborhood today. To get a holistic view of the neighborhood, the boundaries of bed -Stuy are the streets of Flushing Avenue to the north, connecting to Williamsburg, Classen Avenue to the west, bordering Clinton Hill, Broadway to the east, bordering Bushwick, and Atlantic Avenue to the south, bordering Brownsville and Crown Heights. Within bed -Stuy are the smaller neighborhoods of Weeksville, Ocean Hill, Bedford, and Stuyvesant Heights. Although not a neighborhood per se, the Sumner houses are still worth mentioning as they are the public housing in the north of bed -Stuy, providing living to over 2,400 Brooklyn residents. Also, historically, there are parts of the Clinton Hill neighborhood that were once considered a part of bed -Stuy. Like all of Brooklyn, bed -Stuy has boundless transportation options with subway stations all over, providing access to several different train lines. There are stations at Franklin Avenue, which give access to the A and S trains, Nostrand Avenue, which is A and C, Classen Avenue, which is the G train, the Bedford Nostrand Avenue, which is the G train as well, Flushing Avenue, which is J and M, Kosciusko Street, which is the J train, Utica Avenue A and C, Halsey Street is the L, and Chauncey Street is the J and Z trains. Outside of subways, bed -Stuy also has bus stops all over the place, as seen on the map. Along the southern border, you can find the streets that go into Stuyvesant Heights Historical District, which was designated in 1971. With 852 houses, it is among the city's most well-preserved collection of 19th century row houses that were originally built for the upper middle class with architectural styles of Queen Anne, Italian 8, and Renaissance Revival, to name a few. McDonough Street, Decatur Street, Halsey, McCone, and Bainbridge Street are some of the notable streets that make up the Stuyvesant Heights Historical District, one of the major stops on Brooklyn's brownstone belt. Homes come complete with details like wrought iron fences, turrets, wide stoops, bowed windows, and animal grotisqueries. This is a very scenic walk with many beautiful trees sprucing it up even further. Even if you're not one to appreciate appreciate architecture. This is definitely one of the most beautiful neighborhoods to walk through and just admire the gorgeous views. As a designated historic district, the brown street signs make it very easy to find your way around and, how, and tell how all the official historic districts are identifiable throughout the city. The street I am now on is McDonough and the other two that were extremely nice and also filmed is McCon and Housie, even though all the streets in Bed-Stuy are quite beautiful. 
With bed being one of the biggest collections of Victorian row and townhouses, a little south of us on the map is the largest inventory of detached Victorian homes, which is in Ditmas Park, Flatbush. Next, we have bed own green space, Herbert Von King Park. This park is a great place to relax, have a picnic, or even catch a live performance at its amphitheater. It includes basketball courts, barbecue areas, handball courts, playgrounds, fitness equipment, recreational centers, dog-friendly areas, spray showers, and Wi-Fi hotspots. It has everything. Von King Park was designed by none other than Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vox, the same designers of Brooklyn's own Prospect Park and Central Park. This was one of the first parks in Brooklyn and originally named Tompkins Park. Next is one of the most iconic bed landmarks, and this is the Billy Holiday Theater at Restoration Plaza. Also known as the Billy, this opened in 1972. It has been a center for theatrical performances and supporting the talent of native bedside artists with its 218 seats. Circling back to the unique identifiers about bedside is also the amount of independent stores and great places to eat in the area. Famous for its pop-ups, bed is also home to some really great homeware and vintage stores. Some of the most recommended are Harold and Maud Vintage, Lulu Vintage Clothing, and Peace and Riot on Tompkins Avenue, which I actually stopped by. A food destination all in itself, there are so many great restaurants in bed to pick from. Finding just about any cuisine in the neighborhood, including some of the best pizza in all of Brooklyn. Here we are at San Regina, a very popular Italian restaurant, known for its delicious wood-fired pizza, its pasta, and its very cozy atmosphere. It's a great spot for dining in bed -style. Valentine's Pizza at 1063 Bedford Avenue is more casual, the Speedy Romeo being closer to Clinton Hill, but also another pizza spot to consider in the area. Peach's Hot House offers some of the best fried chicken and southern dishes in bed -style and is the epitome of southern comfort food. Lastly, I am no coffee drinker, but for 63% of Americans who are, I'm sure you would like to know about bed -style's abundant coffee shops. Many are independent stores, providing a quaint and relaxing atmosphere to go along with some delicious pastries. Places that are recommended is Playgrounds Coffee Shop and Corto. Jumping into the market overview for bed -Stuy, the one-of-a-kind neighborhood is a mix of historical houses as well as modernizing developments. In the northwest of the neighborhood, you can find newly built residential units and condos, almost leaking in from the commercial activity that goes on in South Williamsburg and on Bushwick Avenue. There is currently a $320 million mixed-use development underway at 1057 Atlantic Avenue, with 446 apartments coming to market and 31,000 square feet of retail space. With such a massive project underway in bed -Stuy, it's expressive of the real estate practices happening throughout the community. With the history of once being a tough neighborhood to grow up in, bed -Stuy has seen parts of its community transform and convert dilapidated and out of shape properties to newly restored townhouses and even commercial developments over the past 25 or so years. Ocean Hill has become hot for revitalization with many houses representing themselves to the market as new construction homes. bed market statistics for the month of September have a median sale price of $892,000, slightly below the same price last year, and a median price per square foot of $814, down 8.4% since the same month last year. 30% more transactions occurred in September when compared to the same month last year with 61 sold homes, potentially giving cause to the 6.1% more listed homes in October than September of this year, with October having 241 versus September's 229 sold homes. In terms of rent prices, bed is below Brooklyn's average of $3,350 a month, at $3,121, with 145 more square feet per apartment unit on average. I see a bright future for bed real estate market. With still affordable home and rent prices below the average of the borough, bed real estate offers a similar value to the more expensive neighborhoods of the borough. With a thriving cultural scene, fantastic shops and restaurants, and central location in Brooklyn, the bed real estate market will emerge as the next hot spot to move. With a difficult real estate market and high rates keeping many interested home buyers out of the market, the value provided by lower sale prices can be one of the reasons many people look to start buying in bed 
over the course of 2024. I hope you enjoyed today's video where we did a full community tour of bed Brooklyn. We talked about its cultural developments and some of its history, pointing out the different neighborhoods within, as well as the top places to see, like its historic district, and even evaluated bed most recent market statistics. Please consider subscribing for more informative content on everything Brooklyn real estate. This is the second of many, many, many community tours to come. So make sure to check in regularly with the channel. If you are thinking about making the move to Brooklyn, or want to sell your home, I would be happy to answer any questions you may have or help you with the process. My contact information is in the description below. As always, thank you for watching.